Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the supremum approximation lemma. We recall the real numbers are defined in such a way so that to become a ordered field with the least upper bound property. And the least upper bound property again, for con sake of completeness, means that if E is a subset of R and E is not empty, then supremum E exists. in R. Okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to state an approximation property for supremum as a set. So here's a lemma. And this lemma is the supremum approximation lemma. It says let's let S be an upper bound of a non-empty set E. which is a subset of R, then S is the supremum of E if and only if, for every epsilon greater than 0, there is an little e in the set capital E, such that, such that S minus epsilon is strictly less than the point E. So let's prove this result. So here is the proof. Okay. So let's do it this way. So let's let S be the supremum of E. So we're going to assume that S is the supremum of E. And I'd like to show this property is true. And epsilon be greater than 0. Well, if S is the sup of E and epsilon is greater than 0, then, since by definition, then S minus epsilon is not an upper bound of E. Because the supremum is the least upper bound, so to be, to be the supremum, you have to be an upper bound. And if any value is less than the supremum, it's automatically not an upper bound. S minus epsilon is less than epsilon, is less than S, so it's not an upper bound. What does this mean? Therefore, there is a point, thus, there is some little e and e capital such that s minus epsilon is less than e. That's by the definition of supremum. So that's the first direction, right? Conversely, what will we do? Conversely, conversely, let b be any upper bound Of, of the set E. And we're going to let B be less than S. Suppose that B is less than S. Okay, So that says that S minus B is positive. S minus B is greater than 0. And therefore what? And therefore, this is, a, this is my candidate for epsilon. So set epsilon to be S minus B. Okay. Then we know that B is the same as S minus S minus B, just by algebra. And now this is less than what? Is less than E by my uh, conclusion here for some E. E and E. That's impossible because we assume that B was what? It was an upper bound of E. So this supposition is not true. So B is not less than S. So S is less than or equal to B. So S is less than or equal to B for any upper bound. And that implies that S is the so, um, supremum of the set E. It's the least upper bound. Thank you very much.